I've been dating guys since I was 14. Mm -hmm. You know, I've always been with guys, but I've also had relationships with women now. And I've had threesome, like threple relationships. But in high school, I mean, I was always making out with girls. I'd have mm -hmm. five different girls. We'd all be huddling together, making mm -hmm. out with, with women. Mm -hmm. I always preferred that yeah. over kissing guys. Yeah. And I remember having hot tub experiences and just, you know, playing mm -hmm. with the pussy and be like, oh, my gosh, mm -hmm. I wonder what it's like to go down on a girl, <laughs> but was pretty afraid of it still. Yeah. Yeah. And then what was your first time being with a woman? Um, in college, mm -hmm. actually. And I just did a, a scene about this with Anna Fox kind of reliving that moment because it was a woman that was dating – we were both dating two twin jocks. Oh, oh, my God. Me and my best friend, like my first boyfriend, was the twin of my best friend's okay. uh, boyfriend. Okay. So I did the same thing, except I got the uglier twin somehow. Oh, yeah. I, I guess know. mine was technically the uglier yeah, twin, too. The... But he was also the nicer one. Mm. So, <laughs> But, yeah, we would always, I mean, I would always hear her fucking and, you know, we'd be in our different rooms and we'd come out in our little undies. And I just remember, even though I just fucked, coming out and just staring at her and loving that she would give me snacks. And, you know, we would sit there and hydrate together and talk and laugh and kind of cuddle and whatnot. And I remember just kind of having my hand on her thigh, thinking that was I just getting goosebumps from it. Mm -hmm. So long story short, she ended up coming over to my place, and I had a studio apartment at the time, so I was there alone, and we had been out, and she ended up whipping out a dildo out of her purse. And I was like, what? You oh my go God, to- this does sound like a sex scene. This yeah. Is, I literally was, shot this, this scene This literally a happened. I'm like, what are you doing with that? You you go everywhere with a dildo? Come on, Kehlani. Like, seriously? And she's like, no, I brought this for you. I knew I would end up at your place tonight. And I know that you've been wanting this. I can tell. <laughs> I'm, the, like, the, I'm sorry, this wait, is a porn scene. It, well, I ended up <laughs> making it into a porn scene. But this, I think, is a lot of my real experiences in life have been porn scenes. Wow. And I think that's why I fit so well here yeah. is that I'm just a very sexual person. And a lot of very sexual things have happened to me. Yeah. Sure enough, she ends up, you know, sucking on it first to get it wet, playing with my clit, and, like, does that. She didn't go down on me or anything at that time. Like, first she just did the dildo mm -hmm. on me, and we made out. And I just remember I actually finally got to touch titties, and I got to play with her pussy, and I went down on her for the first time. And I didn't know what I was doing, yeah. but she made me feel like I knew what I was doing. And I just never really turned back around after that. Yeah. I just, from then on, couldn't stop thinking, man, what does that girl's pussy look like? You know? <laughs> Is it an innie? Is it an Audi? Is it, you know, does she have a big clit? Yeah. So I don't know. I, I really feel as though she broke the barrier for me mm -hmm. in a way that was very safe and something that was nice because she did it to me first instead yeah. of me feeling like a creep or feeling like a, a lesbian or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like we were – and then when we woke up, she spent the night. And when we woke up, we both promised not to tell. <laughs> we both promised not to tell the guys because we knew that they would be jealous and be like weirded out by it or – want to fuck us together. Bring themselves you know? into the equation, yeah. Yes, and that's not what we did it for. We didn't do it for them. We didn't do it... That's the other thing that I liked is we didn't do it in front of them. Mm -hmm. It wasn't you know? for show. Yeah, and we yeah. weren't even, like, intoxicated at the time. Mm -hmm. we, it was just something we really wanted to do together. Mm -hmm. And after that, we did it a couple more times. And <laughs> then it just... She ended up going to different college and things separated, but... I'll never forget it. Do you don't, I'm assuming you probably haven't had contact with her no, in a while. No, I keep hoping that she'll come back around. She's so gorgeous. She's just. I wonder just, if she know, like watches you from afar and just like, I, was I hoping, sodded her down this path. <laughs> I was hoping, yeah. But I mean, 
she was also very rich and her dad was pretty famous and all that. Mm. So I don't think it's something that she wanted to come out yeah. about either. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You know, there's a, even though it's different than being gay males, being a lesbian is still very looked down on. Yeah. You know, and people don't really love that yeah. still to this day. Yeah. Unfortunately. 